Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, we're going to optimize your NVIDIA GPU in seven different steps. I will show you guys the best way to install drivers, the best 3D settings, a bunch of secret settings that will decrease your latency and a lot more. So make sure to stick around until the end so you don't miss out. But before that, I want to tell you guys about a program which will completely optimize your PC for the best possible performance and the lowest possible latency. You can find my premium and standard tweaking utilities on my website, exmtweaks.com, which is linked in the description. The tools on my website increase your FPS, make it a lot more stable and also decrease your ping, input delay and overall system latency. The GPU optimizations that I'm going to show you in this video are about half of what my premium utility covers on NVIDIA. Keep in mind, it covers everything related to your PC, so this is just an incredibly small fraction of what the tool offers. We have over a thousand reviews on our website and Discord server combined, so make sure to check them out. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is downloading the files used in this video. So simply open your browser like Google and search up discord.gg slash exm like this. And here you have exm tweaks it will join you in my discord server and simply navigate over to the free tweaks category right like this and you should see nvidia gpu optimization guide if you're watching this at a later date then just sc scroll up and uh, you should find it. but here you have the download link the google drive link so press on that and simply right click right here on the exm nvidia tweak guide like a little folder press download and this will download it all right so here you can see uh, it appeared at the top and simply press on it and here you can see exm nvidia tweak guide and uh, the way you extract it is basically minimize this and press this little minus icon minus this minus the discord and open back file explorer and just drag this onto your desktop or anywhere but just do it on your desktop it's the best and here you can see xm nvidia tweak guide and basically open the folder and the first step that we're going to be having is clean installing your drivers and i just want to warn you guys if you have ever installed a driver update you know that you will get fps drops for about 30 to 40 minutes of gameplay after installing the update at least in fortnite it's because your gpu is building back up shader cache that the driver reset so keep this in mind after doing the guides just play about three to four games of solos and it will go back to normal and you will see that you will have higher fps than before keep this in mind now let's just start the video and simply go in the first folder and right click on nv clean install and run it as administrator and in this video we're going to be choosing a driver version 537.58 so simply go to manually select the driver version and here you can see 537.58 and make sure it's desktop or if you're on a laptop uh, just to laptop and yeah then press next and here we're gonna select a few things depending on if you use them so for example if you use nvidia highlights then make sure you select shadow play like me and then press next and then press yes and yes so for example if you use the usb-c port on uh, like the top of your pc case then make sure to download like usb-c driver as well and yeah this is all i'm gonna be using in this video of course if you don't use shadow play at all then you can uncheck all of this but yeah we just press next and it will download it i'm gonna skip to when it's finished so then select show expert tweaks and here make sure disable driver telemetry is checked enable message signal interrupts make sure it's selected and the entire priority should be normal then we have disable hdcp so select that and also uh you should have use method compatible with easy anti-cheat and also automatically accept driver on its side warning so yeah these are the settings that i want to use and then simply press next and this will take a little while and then press install and here simply press agree and continue and then press custom but i'm not gonna press uh, next since i don't want to install a driver right now but for you guys you should definitely press next and it will install a driver you may get like a black screen like your screen will flash black this happens every time you install a driver so yeah that's just how it is and yeah after you finish installing the driver simply just restart your pc and your screen may look a little bit gray it's because all of your gpu settings are reset and now we're gonna work on that i'm gonna skip to the next step all right so the next step is is going to be cleaning driver cache and directx cache so after you installed your driver simply go back into the folder and here go to clean and run this little thing and here you can see directx shader cache so i'm basically gonna select everything since it's temporary files and they're all useless but uh what we're focusing on is direct x shader cache and you want that delete it will refresh it this is a pretty simple step and in the next one we're going to be covering a bunch of advanced stuff so make sure to stick around all right so that's finished and this is kind of going to be three different tricks in one since i'm going to be showing you. and simply open this so yeah right click on nvidia profile inspector.exe and run it as administrator and simply minimize it like this and drag exm free settings.nip over it like this and it should say profile successfully imported. By the way, ignore these two files. They're just settings files for the app and they have to be there. 
So yeah, all right, so after that, I'm going to showcase four hidden settings. So simply scroll down to the eight category in NVIDIA Profile Inspector, and you're gonna want to find max pending CMD buffer. And by default, you should have this on zero, but I recommend changing this on one. So this is the default and change this to here. And right below that is MC Force host staging buffers. And basically by default, it should be all zeros and simply make sure it ends with a 20 like this. And after that, you're gonna want to scroll down a little bit more. OGL pull mem buffer shader threshold. It kind of sounds like a whole lot of nothing, but I explained what each one of these tweaks do in the description. And you're just gonna want to make sure that it ends with 80 like this. And same with OGL Puma Mem default buffer size. And those are the four hidden settings. And after that, you just press apply changes. And after that, we're going to be talking about resizable bar, which is also a setting in NVIDIA Profile Inspector, but the setting only works on certain PCs. And the way you check if this works on your PC, go back to your desktop and simply press Windows button and X and find this management it will open in disk management simply find your main disk and my main disk is disk one simply right click on this go to properties and you're gonna want to find volumes and simply in volumes find guid partition table and if this is on gpt then you can use it and if it says anything other than gpt then don't do this and just skip this step and also another thing that we're gonna want to do is open normal nvidia control panel so f go to nvidia control panel and it will take a while to open and go to help and find system information press on this and if it says yes uh, in the resizable bar then simply follow through with the setting about to change in nvidia profile inspector. so open back up nvidia profile inspector and scroll back up number five should be right here and you can see r bar feature and enable this and then uh, on the r bar options change this to one and the size limit here, simply have... press on this little arrow again and you're gonna want to find this again and yeah this is how you enable it and after that press apply and this should give you a sizable performance boost. And after that, you can just close it. So the next thing that we're going to be talking about is MSI mode on your GPU. And simply go back to the EXM NVIDIA tweak guide, go to MSI utility and open MSI utility. And here you can select MSI mode. So I would highly recommend selecting MSI mode on everything except audio control. There's this one setting on your GPU, which I recommend changing. So that is the interrupt priority. So if it's on high, you're probably gonna have the lowest latency, it's a small difference again, but your FPS will be slightly more unstable. Crow VTech did a video about this. I'm going to link it in the description with benchmarks. And if you put it on normal, then you will get slightly more stable FPS and slightly higher latency, but it's a really small difference. And I have a high-end PC, so I'm probably going to go and put it on high. But yeah, simply press apply and that's it. And after you've done everything, make sure to restart your PC and also play a few games of Fortnite before actually like looking at your FPS since after installing a new driver, you will get FPS drops for a little bit, as I said in the start of the video. So yeah, you just play a few games and it should all come back to normal and you should have higher FPS than before doing this video. If this video helped you, then make sure to comment below. Also, I wanna give a shout out to my new editor, Click VFX. Simply go to the comment section below and check him out. And yeah, that's everything for today's video, guys. Um, bye.